Welcome back to the Meadowlands. The goal of the game is brought to you by the exhilarating new lineup at your local Lincoln Mercury dealer. Round six of the shootout. John Madden backhand. From our vantage point, we weren't sure it was in. The Devils bench did not seem to hesitate. And a smiling Lula Morello caps his night by watching his team celebrate a 2-1 victory in the shootout and get the victory tonight over the Ottawa Senators. Devils take a big step towards winning the Atlantic Division. That's not done yet, but John Madden's here now to talk about the night. Long day, a lot of storylines here, and I guess you could sleep with a smile on your face now because of the way this ended tonight. Yeah, we wanted to get a win for uh, not only Lou, but uh, Marty, and uh, get things started on the right foot. 47 for Marty now. Has that been a dry? I know it's a driving force for Marty. How about the guys who play in front Absolutely. of him? Absolutely. I mean, he made so many good saves tonight, uh, particularly you know, on, the, on their power play, he made some good saves. And, uh, you know, we want to help him out. He's always there for us, and it'd uh, be nice to see his name in the record book. And we'll do a little accounting here. Buffalo has clinched first place overall in the Eastern Conference. Pittsburgh with the loss tonight. So now it's a three-point lead for you guys, which means two games left. If you win one of them, you clinch the Atlantic Division. You've been saying all year long you're never one to concentrate on standings. But right now it's all there for you, the easy goal here the last two games. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I said it all year that uh, if we do the things we're supposed to do, you know, the points will take care of themselves and we'll finish where we want to finish and uh, you know that's what that's the way it's shaking out right now we're uh, two points away from clinching and uh, that's where we want to be let's talk about the game itself this was a scoreless hockey game for the longest time then third period John you're the guy who breaks the ice this comes at the 10 15 minute the 10 15 mark of the third period Rafalski is going to get a chance to drive it and all along, do you know what you're trying to do here? No, I'm just trying to get to the net and it comes and uh, you know, I'm just going to stick on it, trying to change the direction somehow. And, uh, you know, Jay Pandolfo and Eric Rasmussen did all the work to, to, to get that puck back to Falski. Here's the shootout. You said you had a chance to watch Ray Emery, obviously, for the first five rounds. And you had a conversation with one of your teammates, right? Yeah, I, I talked to Zach a little bit because uh, he said he saw a lot of glove. Um, you know, I didn't want to go high glove, particularly with the ice being the way it was. Um, but he also said he saw five holes, so, uh, you know, when I went down there, that's what I was thinking of. Put in perspective the last 48 hours, if you might. None of us were expecting a coaching change yesterday, and here it is now. You're set to embark on the Stanley Cup playoffs with a new look behind the bench. Yeah, um, we've been there before with Lou. Um, we know what to expect. Uh, there's a lot of focus and a lot of positive uh, reinforcement going on in the dressing room, on the bench. and. Uh, you know, instead of yelling at the refs or, or uh, you know, get involved with uh, things that we can't control, he makes us focus on things we can't control. That's fine. You answered my next question. I was wondering what the tangible difference with Lou behind the bench, because probably you guys are the only ones to actually see that. The fans just see the long distance, and so do we even from the broadcast location. But I guess that's the biggest thing? Yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing for me. Um, you know, I asked uh, where Gianta went when the shootout was going on. You know, he keeps you so focused on what our goals are as a checking line and uh, what's going on that uh, you know sometimes you don't realize what's going on other, other places which is good because your focus just stays mainly on on your goal and that's to, to shut down the other team. Congratulations on the win when we come back here we are going to update the fans at home on Brian Gianta we've got some news to pass along not an affirmative update but we'll pass it along to you when we come back.